I don't know if you remember me. This is me, Mr. Rediaz. I hope you guys are doing well, great, and beautiful. It's another day. I know it's been a minute since we've uploaded one of these. Uh, this is another Undercover Bosses, as of course you can see in the title. As my other self will say, the other one was received kind of mixed, right? Rightfully so. So we are definitely trying to change some things. A couple of vocabulary issues and, and other stuff, but that's beyond the point. Here we are, once again, taking enough of your time. You know, as always, I do appreciate you guys for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's just take the show on the road. Uh, we're going to be watching the one for Retro Fitness. I've seen some clips about this, and it, look, and, it, and it gets pretty wild at some point. So that's what we are expecting here today. So once again, I do know that the last one did get a lot of traction. However, it's, a, it's been met with a lot of mixed feelings. Uh, I guess there's a lot of cursing for me on that video. I guess my commentary wasn't very fire, right? I might be more, it might be hated more than loved more as well. But here we are once again with the cover bosses, Retro Fitness. Let's get it going. Let's get it popping. I'm Eric Casaburi. I'm the founder and CEO of Retro Fitness. Yes, sir. Retro Fitness started out of frustration. I was operating gyms in the fitness industry, and I just felt that there was a niche that wasn't being filled. And I just was truly passionate that there was a way to offer a high-end fitness experience associated with a really good price. Isn't that, isn't that isn't that just that a fitness? Tanning, we have a juice bar. When I started doing $19.99 memberships, people you know really liked us. When the recession hit, we essentially became rock stars almost overnight. I will say as CEOs go, that man, I mean he's a fitness CEO though, so that's why. My boy look handsome as hell, bro. Like, what the fuck? Look at that shit, bro. I bet my boy look crazy. Like, all the CEOs, that, most of the CEOs that be on here, bro, they don't look right. They look like CEOs. <laughs> That's what they look like. In he do, does not look the same, bro. Gradually, you know, went through all of the ranks in the gym and, and then went to college. You know, the greatest thing that I took home from How he look younger I didn't take now? Degree, so what? I him, so that was a win. Yo, the beard, on, the beard does miracles for people. There's nothing that I won't Especially me, bro. It's a nice house. My life today is nice flex. Is, is, it's pretty awesome. All right, let's see what you got. But is it the, the different oh, yeah. house or is it the back yeah, of the house? Hold on, though. was he? That was that was a flex on me, right? Children. And they're all awesome. I mean, they're just really great kids. They're super well rounded. Yeah. Skipped a couple things that I didn't think were that important. You know, he did talk about his mom, which you know is important in some type of way. Um, his mom did sadly pass away. Um, you know, he's rich enough to have his mom buried in his property or land, which again, you know, not, not talking crap about it or anything like that. Cause again, kudos to him. I wish I was rich enough to do the same thing for my mom. You know, he's doing pretty well for himself. So good for him. As my little self said in the corner as well, my man is winning in life because he doesn't look like a CEO and he has the money of a CEO. So big shout outs to him once again, how we see the transformation, how he actually can look like a CEO as well. And here we go. They really made that person <laughs> look like somebody one else, one bro. <laughs> because we're at a critical point in retro fitness. Is this gonna mess with my real hair? Oh, no, nothing is gonna happen to real hair. We're heading in on 100 gyms. And when we get to 250 or 500, anything that could be going wrong in the system at that level is much harder to get your arms around than it would be today. I'm a little nervous about going undercover. I got this Ooh, crazy no, I, I could never, I could never mess with my eyes, bro. Mm -hmm. Down this luck guy competing mm -hmm. on a reality show to win his own gym. He looks mad different, bro. That's insane. What's up? <laughs> Daddy's going on the cover. You're gonna look like that. <laughs> why the kid wear? Why, wait, hold on, hold on, Dad. Please explain to me why is your kid wearing branded merch? You can't be going this hard, bro. Like, I mean, I'm not one to talk, right? I mean, <laughs> but I mean, I'm trying to make some money, bro. I'm broke. He rich. Like, there's a big difference, bro. Shop a spicy boy merch.com. This is part of the summer drop. This jacket. I mean, you gotta agree, looks fire. So please help your boy out. This is the best way of supporting your boy and at the same time you get something from it. Link is always on the description so you can definitely check it out. Down spicyboymerch.com and that is the website so you can cop yourself some merch. 
They also do custom stuff, so hit me up on socials. All right, so here we're going to the first place. Uh, it's in PA. I'm gonna be meeting the manager for this retro fitness store, of course. See how she operates it, see what's going on and all that. Spoiler alert, my man goes into the stress mode. <laughs> Almost blows his cover. On the first place that he got to, it's like, bro, chill. Right now, you're, you are on lookout mode. You're trying to figure out what the issues are so you can fix them when you get the chance. You're snitching on yourself, bro. Chill. Hello. Welcome to Retro. How are you? I'm looking for Megan. Retro. <laughs> wow. You must be my what? contestant, right? I am. All right. Well, nice to meet you. My name's Barry. We're going to have you come around, and I'm going to tell you all the cool awesome. stuff that we have going up here, okay? okay? When Barry first walked in, I noticed that his hair is a little disheveled and doesn't look like he did it this morning. I think Barry needs to clean up a little bit and put some gel or hairspray in his hair. Bro, why she is she going off on my man? He's not real. <laughs> Relax. Like, are you right here is my favorite little handy dandy microphone. What do we do with that sucker? You talk to the members over the intercom. That's powerful. I'll talk about um, our sales up here. Like say, hey right. guys, we have $12 t-shirts or $10 t-shirt. Come up here and get one. You're telling the members all the things they need to know. Absolutely. So um, I'm going to have you make an announcement. Let me oh, tell you me? what to say. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's going to be gonna a lot of fun. I'm going to be anointed with the microphone. <laughs> and to retro members, from now until 7 p.m., we're going to be giving $1 off our Retro blends. We could just say protein shakes. Protein they shakes. Know. Yeah, they, they know. got the they got it. Yeah, right. they don't just, call just, just wonder if we should use the word retro blends, but okay. I mean, you can, um, but I mean, usually I just you know say all of our protein shakes. Why he? I personally why he mad about that? The they might think like a dude wants a protein shake, but a woman might say, hey, a retro blend or a smoothie. I don't know, maybe it's, that would you sound. Yeah, you're I'm absolutely just right. Out there. I got now. a contest <laughs> to win. I got a contest. You do have a contest to win. We're definitely gonna win that. Maybe Barry did his homework before he came in. I was wondering about that. Because I was, I thought I was teaching him. You're the master already. You've got this. So flick that up. Yeah, he just snitched on himself. Attention, retro members. From now until 7 p.m., there's one dollar off the retro blend smoothie bar. That's right, one dollar off. Oh, you're you're doing way too much, my guy. Yeah, I, I guess I should have waited to tell her all that. I, I couldn't though, because it's not really just a protein shake. It is so much more. Oh my gosh, you're a pro already. Why am I here? Bro, he is so dumb. I don't know if Megan's gonna go home scratching her head saying, "Who the hell is this Barry?" Guy? Literally, bro, is. like you're doing way too home. much, my guy. Yeah, Relax. All right, what do we got? What's next? Just right. let the bad stuff happen, bro, and then just talk about it later. <laughs> Everything to him has to be branded. Everything to him has to be. Um, you know, retro this, retro that. I think that's a little bit on the nose. Like, bro, relax. Even your kids are branded. Like, bro, nah, take it easy, man. It's not that serious. Not everything has to be branded. I do kind of agree on, like, the protein shake thing. However, if somebody's going to buy it, they're still going to buy it, right? Because, again, you have to walk out of the store. You're going to see the shake area and all that. So, again, people are going to buy it. If they're there for, like, you know, to get some of those things, I mean, they're going to get it regardless of anything. It doesn't even matter. Also, I think it's a little bit ridiculous to have a microphone sounding throughout the whole thing. But again, you know, it's not that harmful, right? It's just uh, a message that can be annoying, right? Like the message that she was saying earlier. Oh, come buy your shirts. It's two for like something for $10 or whatever. I'm not really interested in your shirts, but my guy, I mean, I am interested in just getting the membership, which is, sounds like it's cheap as hell. But that's it. I'm good on the on the on everything else. I'm gonna teach you how to give tours. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do that. All right. Okay. So we're gonna try to close this deal. Okay. Let's, Sound good? Do we bring this? Huh? This doesn't no, come. No, you leave this that right there. Okay. We'll leave that baby there, even though that's Hi. Uh, or, or how are you? Good. How are you? Um, he keeps on um, self-reporting, bro. Stop. Um, have you ever visited us before? No, we were just kind of um, wanting to check it out. Cause and also, if you like your own personal space, which. I'm like that. Um, I usually go up to the top. We have a long line of treadmills. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. And then in here, you can come in here and do. He wants to talk so much crap, crap, bro. Have a lot of kettlebells. Yep. He yeah. wants to talk so Kettle much crap. So much energy, like Megan does. Do you want to do a tire flipping? No. You get so caught up in wanting to talk to the member. Challenge is, is when you want someone to join our gyms. Come in here. And oh, it's gonna be tough. We need to really listen more so than we want to be talking. So I'm glad that you came here and visited us. Are you thinking about joining She's us? overwhelmed. You can literally um, see it. 
I think that we would consider it. It is so difficult for me. It's just one person, bro. Like, relax. The sales process <laughs> when it's happening right in front of me. Yeah, let me get you guys on a business card and a flyer. So okay. I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, cool. Thanks. We can close this one. Don't do it. Yes, chill, bro. My boy need to relax. That's the only thing that I can say, bro. If you're there for research purposes, can't wall out, bro. I don't know. It's just a customer, bro. Like, I get it, though. You know, it's crazy. Nothing that bad other than him. <laughs> Almost snitching on, on himself completely. A little bit counterproductive though, because again, you're trying to go there to see what is not working in the business, what is failing, and then you're gonna go implement better ways to fix it, right? However, <laughs> what we're about to see is major, is crazy, and is insane. Today we're in Fairlawn, New Jersey, Retro Fitness, where we'll be working at the front desk. It's a busy facility, so it would be my expectation that- I think this is the one. Is up for the task. This is the one. Oh, this, this is the one. This is the one. This is the one. hope today is to see oh, an energetic, oh, oh, enthusiastic oh, oh, oh. individual. Oh my god! 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 That's me. That's you. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Woo! You got your. I do. Yes. Oh, there we I go. Am ready. Like me, I'm just a front desk, so right. I just kind of sit here, say my hey's, how are you, walk around, do some of that. Right. You know, but most of the time I'm kind of just like this. What happened? Oh. Yeah. Right. Oh. Wilson. Hey, how you doing? You use that while you work? Yep. Wow. That's crazy. It's, it's slow. What else am I supposed to do? I find myself over here, like this, like this, taking pictures of myself. If someone may have a question, maybe they might not approach you because they think you're busy. You know, they don't want to interrupt your personal. Well, but that's actually never happened to me. People love to interrupt here. People um, love to be obnoxious. I'm not a slave. I don't. Yo, he's a new person. Do, like, what are you doing? Oh. Members, they're they're literally stupid. They don't know anything. <laughs> they don't know how to use a machine, so they're over here <laughs> and, like doing the machine, and then they come up here and they're like, "Well, what does protein do, dude? You don't know what protein does." Again, you can't you can't really stage those types of things, bro. There's an actual person. There has to be an actual person there. This cannot fully be staged. This is somewhat staged. This is this is insane. Again, you're being recorded. You know that you're being recorded. What are you doing, bro? I always say this. I will be on my best behavior if I'm being recorded, and I am going to be crying and I'm going to lie to you and tell you that three of my dogs died. Like, I'm giving you the sob story. If somebody tell me that there's there's uh, somebody recording at work today, bro. I am not playing. I am about my business and my money because I need a hundred thousand dollar check, bro. Like, what are you doing? You're ruining the bag. This is the menu, how we make it. It's super explanatory. Like you would be literally brain dead if you can't get it. So if you look at that and can't understand it, then you should probably turn around and not do this. All right. Wow. So go here. Trudy Wallen. We're not supposed to put more than what it says on the menu. And it says on the menu, one pump. I always put two and a half. We're not supposed to, but it tastes better, honestly. The juice bar is on average 15% of the annual revenue inside the gym. It's one area of the gym that I really, really care about. <laughs> so would go, one, six, go. Okay. That makes a disgusting shake, honestly. Okay. So what I always do, one, and hold juice. At some point, I realized that maybe we should have renamed the Jacqueline's juice bar because it seems like she's got her own way of doing everything. In the sink, <clears> that's, that's the shake. perfect shake. I noticed that there was like extra in here. Like, what do you? Do you guys like, make samples out of that? You don't offer just, it to the member nope. at all? You just dump, dump it out. Dump, dump, dump it out. If they want it, they can take it. But if not, oh well. OK. Are we doing it uh, the way it says? No, you're going to do it the way I told you. The way you told me. OK. So we want two of these from you, right? That's not a full One problem. and a half. OK. How's that? One more. One more. You got to pick up the pace, dude. We're Come on. Picking up the pace. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> That's enough ice. OK. I would normally hit the. Code, okay, well, I'm telling you the way people like it. Okay. But if you don't want to listen to me, that's all good. You don't have to win. It's all I good for me. I would love to listen. You don't to have you. to I win. Think that maybe we would go with the code. But go you ahead, know go with the we'll code, dude. The code. Do it up. First of all, Barry's awkward. He's condescending. He's not absorbing anything that I'm saying. Listen to me, because I know what I'm doing. I know my. Maybe if you listen to me, I don't know. Good luck, buddy. Maybe. I'm gonna need it today. I'm gonna Kill him. See, that's what I'm saying. That stuff like that is not, it so can't be staged. Sure. Do, you, do you want protein in it or no? Yes. Yeah. You want a okay. protein? Okay. And this goes in the 16 ounce cup. I assume it just happens to say it there. No, you just do a full cup. You do it in the full cup? You don't have to go by the book with every situation in your life. <laughs> 
The menu says medium, though, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I'm telling you this way. Oh, no, I'm telling oh, well, you. well, then, that's why I forgot it was Jacqueline's juice bar. Excuse me? I don't think Barry understands that I work here every single day, and I know what I'm doing. I know my I've been here for two years. Yo. You don't have people still Barry. I'm sorry. You're so condescending and rude to me. I really can't stand it. Oh, I would never be. Just wait, baby. It's people's reaction. You can't, you can't fake that, bro. And Shorty, Shorty's crazy off the rip. And if it was fake, I mean, I feel like you would have um, terrible ones every single second. So not every one of them is terrible. Yeah. All right, we back. Yes. Today. Lucky me. I'm going to make you the best shake in the world right now. Just do it because you're taking way too long. It has to be fast paced. I want you to stop talking. Sure. <sighs> I'm never mean. I'm not being mean. Hey, you know, he's, he's her baby. You okay? Yeah. Look, she's the manager. She's pretty, like, okay, huh? But you can't, you can't fake that, Frank. Come Who on. Who does this girl think she is? That's my... One member has to experience that's my, that. Uh, that's my I mean, that's tia. Oh, it's my good lit. Oh, Hakeem, hey. Your payment. Huh? Your payment's overdue. I know. I'm going to pay him tomorrow. No. No. Why are you going to put him on blast? Oh, no, How many times do I have to tell you? Don't f*** with me, dude. Oh no! Listen to me, oh bro. You don't put people on blast I like that, bro. For the sake of the job, I don't want to blow my cover. Uh, but the retro fitness CEO inside of me is really wants to fix this right now. So, okay. my guy, why, why did he not? I, I blow my cover there. There's no. I call my. I, I call a family member to fuck this bitch up. There's no way. I blow my cover. Call somebody to fuck up. They, they, that's no way, bro. You can't be doing this, bro. How how he literally blew his cover for the other... I almost blew his cover for the other shit, but not for this. This is what matters. Try to even be racist, bro. That that shit was racially motivated, bro. Like, y'all seen that? Y'all seen that, bro? <laughs> Shorty's crazy, of course, we saw. Literally insane. He was willing to blow his cover for something minor. But for this, he really didn't want to blow his cover. I mean, yeah, after he left, because I guess he couldn't stand it no more, he tried to call somebody, I guess the, the owner, you know, the actual manager or whatever. He went into stress mode, left, called the dude, the dude didn't pick up, and then he had to make himself a shake, because, I mean, he was he was stressing, right? Most of that out for the sake of time. Uh, we also did call out the third person, right? A sweetheart. I mean, just like the first lady, her big thing was, you know, she didn't have a lot of vacation time with her family, especially her mom, which I believe her mom has cancer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean, her mom um, is going through something. She's definitely going through something, you know, working hard, hard uh, nonstop. And of course, I do say this because we are going to see her at the end right now on the recap, because now everybody gets together and talks to the CEO. Hello. They've been called here to give feedback on whether or not I deserve to win my own gym. What is this, bro? And I still don't know what I'm going to do about Jacqueline. Fire her, bro. What you mean? What? Tell me about Barry. Barry did seem nervous in the beginning, but I felt like he warmed up a lot. Very rude. Condescending. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Barry was probably nervous because Barry was afraid that Maybe his wig would have moved. Don't tell me you're Barry, please. I'm not Barry, actually. No. I'm Eric Casabiri, the CEO and founder of Retro Fitness. Okay. Who was acting as Barry Undercover, because you're on Undercover Boss. Really? So I made you clean all the dumbbells. Seriously, <laughs> 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 Got the same eyes. <laughs> Jacqueline. Yes, Eric. You were my biggest fear of going undercover. Why? The first thing that I took note of that was completely unacceptable was how you treated some of our members right in front of them. How did I treat some of the members? Your payment's overdue. I know. I that was wild. No. This, this was no, so wild. No, like, that is so embarrassing. No, 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 listen. Don't with me, dude. First of all, you're coming at me saying Like, that. if this is fake, because Frank keeps on saying that this shit is fake. If this is fake, how embarrassing is it to put yourself out there being like this? Also, you have a cross, bro. You should, like, bro, what? It's always the Christian people, bro. Like, come on. Y'all need to stop that. Y'all always giving the Christian people a bad rep. Disrespectful to members, which is completely false. Because, no, don't, like, seriously, I don't. There's no answer you could possibly say right now to me. None. Okay. 
that is going to be acceptable. Okay. So you can sit here for 15 minutes and talk about this. I won't, but okay. Don't waste both our time. Okay. Because <laughs> it makes no sense that you would treat someone that way. None. Okay. He looks so different without the beard, bro. Me, like, oh my God. Yeah, I'm not in love with him no more. Asking the company how that behavior is. I don't know what, what you want me to say. Sorry. Like, I don't know what you want me to say but in that situation. Bro, like, this is embarrassing, There's, bro. Uh, there's one other person that I, I want to be part of this conversation. Yes, I know who it is. Aware of what he told me, right? No, yeah, I know everything, but like you. You you know the no, way. No, because you know me, Bob. Using language behind the desk. And do you ever do that? Do you Yo, ever see me accountability, do that? bro. No, Come on, bro. That. You did it in front of the CEO. But of I didn't the know it was him. Obviously, I wouldn't. That doesn't mean shit. That, 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 that way. That makes it worse. And you didn't know it was him. Obviously, you wouldn't do it if it was him. That club is my baby, and you know that. I know, and I, I... I go there when I'm sick. I go there when I'm tired. I drive 72 miles to get to that club every day. I go there even if I have COVID. Like, talked about without, like, the CEO of the company right in front of my face staring at me. She is insane. I, I would never have a... Fight him! Fight him! Conscious, do something. Follow me like Bori. Yo. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Honestly. Bob, I, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Bob does not know what he's talking about. I'm a good person. I really am. Like, I don't know how to show it in any way more than I have. You're a terrible franchise owner, bro. Like, let's be, let's be real. Like, he said he got stabbed in the back. Like, what? You don't notice this? If you're actually there when you're sick, if you're actually there, like every single day, and you don't see this, you are a liar. You're not there, bro. You're not paying attention, like at all, <laughs> literally. Because there's no way this can happen. This does not happen if you're paying attention, bro. And I guess she's loud and proud about how rude she is, bro. I'm positive that dude is okay with her doing that type of shit. Because there's no way you can't you you can't miss that. You literally can't miss it. A great experience working with you. What I'd like to do. I would like to pay for your trip to go see mom and spend as much time as you need there and not have to worry about anything. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to also give you $10,000 for you and your fantastic man who I met. <laughs> I want you both to go on a, a nice long vacation. Thank you. Barry. <laughs> Yvette, in addition to that, what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you $30,000 so when you get home, you and your fiance can start your new life together. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Thank you so much. Thank you. Like, a lot of people That's what I need. don't know that hard work actually pays off, and I hope I look, keep look, uh, Hey, hey, I'm sorry, Shorty. Look, I'm glad for you. I'm glad you're getting all this shit, but no. Hard work does not pay off. You just got lucky. Again, Frank keeps saying that this shit is fake, so this might even be fake. I'm sorry to tell you this, but no. No, 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 no. Hard work does not pay off. Do not bust your ass for these jobs. Take all the sick time that you can. Take all the vacation time that you can. Look, man, I'm going to Iceland in August, bro. And I have no vacation time left. You think that's stopping me? No, sirree. <laughs> not at all. Don't do that to yourself. Don't kill yourself. These jobs will replace you in two seconds. Two seconds if you die today. Bro, they replaced you yesterday. Do not do that. Do not fall for the company trap. Don't always bust your ass. We talked about that really. He better give this shorty a new car. Years. What y'all think he giving here? I think he is about to say 15K. You better give her a car, a vacation trip, and then two smoothies. But not the, but not like smoothie smoothies. Like he'll give her like a coupon that doesn't even work after like another, like after two weeks. <laughs> if she doesn't redeem the two, the two smoothies. <laughs> I'd like to give you fifteen thousand dollars. Oh, fifteen. <laughs> Yo. Continue to build your independence. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. And I'd like to give you forty thousand dollars oh to pay God. for your school loans oh my God. and leave you <gasps> finished with school debt free. Oh Lord. Yes, oh. Lord. Yeah, we we hitting fifty five k. We hitting fifty five k. No car, no car, no car, no car. car. Under Armour, Under Armour sponsorship. Under Armour sponsorship. Loan free. I'd like to give you twenty thousand dollars to just 
moving forward, Moni. Oh my God. <laughs> I agree with Moni, bro. I'm giving. I would give him a hand, a hand job right there, bro. Like I would literally unzip that man, bro. What? <laughs> what again these are these, of course these are all tax write-offs for these rich people but shout outs to them you know for helping like you know two or three two or two or three of their hard-working employee employees when they have like a thousand of them big shout outs to them for just doing two or three of them right <laughs> so he gave her a ton of money bro and damn no free car where's the car man 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 my boy was giving out money out here you know shout outs to him for helping people changing some people's lives I wish I could get at least a 10 to hold. That would be nice for me. And I mean, that it would change my life completely. I know for a fact, all that money that he was giving out definitely will change those two ladies' lives. So, you know, big shout outs for them. It's always good to see, you know, people like myself, you know, get recognition, get what they deserve. Hard work should pay off. However, most of the time it doesn't and it gets overlooked. But I mean, it has like over thousands of employees, or, but at least two of them were able to take advantage of this tax write-off. So, however, this is the end of the video, guys. I do appreciate y'all for being here. I made it all the way to the end of this video. I mean, I don't know, comment something about Stitch. A beautiful rest of your day. Appreciate y'all for watching the video. As always, never, don't forget to like and comment. Very important to do both if you can. So if we do appreciate that, all right? But it has been a pleasure as always. We'll... Hey, we're always on Twitch. At least we try to be on Twitch, but we'll always be here, all right? Also, follow me on social medias. Every, everything is on the, the description. Love to you guys. And again, don't forget, my right, Spicy Boy merch, all right? We got the summer drop. If you want to get it before summer's over, shoot me a message. We have everything at $19.99. It's a special sale that we got, all right? So definitely hit my line up for some Spicy Boy shirts. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for being here, and hopefully one day y'all can be my tax write-off.